I'm doing this late at night. I'm trying to watch um, Terrence Trower at the same time. I'm going to read this one. Um, so I just muted him for a minute. But um, check out Minister of Music, Terrence Trower. I'm um, watching the Nuggets. And I'm just late. I'm running behind. Blue is coughing. He's chewing on his bone. Okay. From that time, Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 4, 17. I need these glasses. <laughs> Thanks for the glasses, Joyce. Two brothers were once convicted of stealing sheep and were branded on the forehead with the letters S-T, which stood for Sheep Thief. <clears throat> Unable to bear the shame, one brother fled to a foreign land where he still had to explain his brand. He wandered from land to land, hoping he could escape his guilt, but finally died in bitterness, buried in a forgotten grave. The other brother repented of his crime. That's a note that. He did not go away, but bore his shame, acknowledged his guilt, and resolved to make amends. He stayed with his people, determined to win back their respect. As the years passed, he gained a reputation for great honesty and kindness. One day, a stranger came to the town and saw the old man with the S-T branded on his forehead. He asked someone what the letters meant. A villager said, It happened long ago. And I have forgotten the details, but I think the letters are an abbreviation for saint. Such is the choice for us. We can run and hide. We can deny and dispute, but we cannot escape. The only way of healing is to surrender and face the facts. When we repent and make amends, we turn towards the light of truth and health. The process of giving ourselves over to the healing, purging, cleansing love of God has the power of the holy within it. There is no power stronger on earth than a courage to face our past. Almost every saint worthy of sainthood had to become free of his or her yesterdays. We are not called to spectacular sainthood, but we are called to repentance, to truth, to forgiveness, and to new life in our, all our todays. Our Lord Christ bears in his own wounds our past shame and guilt. We all, all we need to do is embrace his present love to remove our stain. Dear Christ, I lay open at your feet in my shame. Forgive me and hear me. Amen. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Bye.